Oh, you ready? Check this out. It's pretty cool. It's got it's got all the major characters in it pre-attitude era. It's gonna launch it now. Watch this come out. Whoa. Yes. Multi level up there up on the top. Control it up there too, it's pretty cool. Oh. How's this view? Does this look good? Forever I will have to get some of my pictures. Michael Jackson Moonwalker Arcade, that's awesome. It's really cool, Simon. My wife was playing, she got the, the multi-balls last night. And she was good at handling those multi-balls. I'm not, not yet anyways. There's all kinds of little tricks to this thing. Yes. I'm gonna shoot, uh, close up when when I lose here of the screen so you can check it out and I'll just let it go I want you to see it close up yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah it's legit mine it's my wife's actually half and half I guess I don't know all right so let me show you like the screen it's super cool um, first off here's the uh, the board you got Undertaker Hulk Brett Yokozuna Macho Man Lex Luger you got all the the main major players for the most part early on. Hey Sean, this is the new uh, new pinball in my house. This screen right here is really super cool because uh, it has all kinds of angles that it runs. Like um, while you're playing, it might pit two wrestlers against each other. It'll say like, Lex Luger takes on the Macho Man. And then you'll see them wrestling on this little screen here. Um, down on the, down on the bottom here, I want you to check out all the different wrestlers that it features. There's a uh, Bobby Heenan, right there with Vince McMahon. Oh, that's awesome, Sean. Then uh, look at you got Razor over here. All right, Razor Ramon. Got the Undertaker, my man Hacksaw. And it's really cool because there's sound effects during the uh, the game. It just come in randomly. A lot of Macho Man stuff, but you hear Hacksaw. Sometimes you hear uh, Tatanka. There's a feature called uh, Find Doink. And what happens is, is like there's little holes. There's a hole there. Uh, there's another hole up here. And basically, what happens is you got to try to get it in the hole when it says "find doink," and then you can get extra points. It's pretty cool. Uh, let's see some other. Look at Kona Crush is up there. You got Big Boss Man, Shawn Michaels. Got the Bushwhackers, Steiner Brothers, even. Right here's the Smoking Guns. There's Macho. So there's all kinds of the uh, the main characters. Up here in the corner, you can get an extra ball if you drop if you get it up past that hole where Mr. Fuji is. And right below Fuji is Paul Bearer. Pretty cool. My wife kicks my butt at this. But I'm gonna get better. I'm gonna get better. Let's see, there's Mr. Perfect right there. So they made this at a pretty cool time. They made this. 1994, I think. All right, I'm gonna play a little bit more so you can hear some of the uh, the sound effects. Picked this up last night. All right, here we go. I think we got it here. There's hacksaw right off the bat. hoping to get the multi-balls. What happens is it shoots four or five balls down at the same time and just goes crazy. The, uh, the LED screen up here, 
has all kinds of things going on, like little challenges. Like right now it says Macho Man. If you can light up all of the, uh, the letters of Macho Man by running over his section, spelling out the word Macho Man, you get more points. Right now we're in sleeper, the sleeper hold mode. Right? That, they didn't do it. But you have to like hit a certain number of uh, spots during that time to get extra points. There's all kinds of little cool game uh, within games in this. So I thought I'd show you it's pretty fresh. Pretty fresh, man. Up here is a couple more characters. Yokozuna. There's Doink, Tatanka. And what happens is you have to run over these spots, like right here. If it says uh, hit nine wrestlers and you'll get extra, you know, extra balls or, or whatever, um, you got to run the ball up over these sections here, and then the, that challenge is met. Uh, it might, you might hear Yokozuna. It'll say Banzai. And if that, if this light right here is lit, you got to shoot the ball up here and try to knock those out by using these. And then you get extra points. Cool game, man. Pretty groovy. New pinball. My wife and I want to get this Popeye one. Uh, there was a Popeye game for, uh, not for sale, but they were showing it. And uh, she really wanted it. I feel bad that we ended up only being able to get this. I would have liked to have gotten both of them. The Popeye one was awesome. It's called Popeye Saves the World. I couldn't convince the guy to sell it to us, though. He wanted to keep it till he had mastered it. This is pretty cool. Check this ad out. It says Death Ball 2000, it said. Death Ball 2000, the game people are waiting to play. Um, this was made in 94, so Death Ball 2000 was uh, in the future still. So I kind of find that neat. This is kind of a, um, an antique at this point. It was made in 93, 94, right? That's like 25 years ago. That's a long time ago. So pretty cool, man. I don't know how many people are down with pinballs. My man Shockwave helped us bring this in last night. I'm going to show you the side art. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Got Hogan up on the side. Now, if you know your wrestling history, Hogan was about to leave in 94. So this was like his last year there. So it was in the transition of when they started to like uh, go uh, soon after, you know, uh, Bret Hart was then Shawn Michaels and uh, uh, Steve Austin. And then they went into the Attitude Era. So this is like right at the tail end when everything was still kind of sweet. Yeah. So I'm going to play another round. You guys can watch. If you're over here sometime, I'll challenge you to a game. And then my wife will come downstairs and beat both of us. I gotta give her props for letting us get this one. I'm down with it. Let's play it. It's on free play mode right now, meaning I'm gonna set it up, so uh, I'm gonna put it on quarters. For those of you following the book writing, give you a heads up. Check it out, championship belt round. Uh, finishing up the Vader book, probably. Getting ready to get up for print. As is Sabu. We're going to have them both coming out probably tail end of this year. Go. Yes. Just passed. I missed it. It was called uh, Championship Belt Round. The belts are up high. Ah, I lost it there. I just dropped it. The belts are up here. If I had uh, gotten the ball up here at that point and knocked those out, I would have gotten a ton of points. The way you do that, I think you have to hit it right here. Bang, up to there. Then it would go up around. And then it would hit that. So, pretty cool. All right, well, thank you for checking out the new game here at the house. I'm going to show you real quick the other game. We got Pac-Man down in the game room. We're starting to build the game room. And then, of course, right down the hall, I'm going to show you the wrestling room once. I'm going to shut it off because some people like to see this. Let's take a peek. 
and one last room, one last shot of the wrestling room. Hey, Eric Alden. There's my collection all crazy. The newest collection piece is the pinball machine. Yes. Super cool, super groovy. I like how it commentates while you play. Wow. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah.